a lot of founders come to me and ask me, how do I find my prospects bank? What does it mean in the discovery call to dive in deep and ask them more questions about their problem? How, how can I do that? Well, there's many ways to do it and asking thought provoking questions is the best way, but it's still hard at the beginning until you really get to know your prospects and their problems and practice this skill of asking good questions. So I created this worksheet that I'm going to show you here in a second that will help you at the beginning stages to give you guidance on where to go and where to take that conversation. So the first thing you need to do before coming into this exercise is understand high level what the problem is that your prospects are having that you solve, whether that is an emotional pain of, you know, this takes me five hours a day, I have to work long hours and I don't get to go home on time. Or is it a financial pain of we're not going to hit our targets in the next three, uh, quarter and it's going to cost the company X amount, whatever that may be. So you need to know that first layer first. And what you do, go to this worksheet here. You put that problem up here at the top. What is that problem? Then when you're here, and when you're talking to the prospect, now you have this quadrant here. And what you want to know and the questions that you should be asking are what happens if you do not solve this problem? There are going to be good things and there are going to be negative things. So you want to kind of understand what's going to happen. What do you have to gain by not solving this? What do you have to lose? by not solving this problem. Once you understand that, and you could ask deeper and deeper questions here and really get into depth on what the risks are associated with this. Is it losing your job? Is it not being able to pay your mortgage? You know, you could really go deep here and don't be afraid to do that. But then you could go, after you get to that side, then you come over to the other side. Now, what does the future look? Let's say we do solve this. Let's say tomorrow you sign our contract, we start working together and we start solving this. What do you gain? How does that future look like? Are there any risks associated? Is there something that you're going to lose? Now, that doesn't necessarily mean a negative thing. That could also be a positive thing. Oh yeah, I lost this massive headache. <laughs> but now you have some guidance on where to take the conversation. So my recommendation is to print this out and bring it with you on a call and just start writing in each quadrant when you're asking the questions. If you want a copy of this, just comment down below and I'll be able to send you a PDF version.